one of this little series, we talked about how to use your site styles editor to customize your fonts. We also covered some pretty important info on the difference between making changes locally versus site-wide, which we will be referencing lots in this video. So if you didn't catch part one, I definitely recommend starting there to get the most out of this video. You can find part one right here, and I'll also pop the link in the description below. So if you're ready for part two, we are tackling everything you need to know to quickly and easily customize your color themes and button settings to get your site looking on brand. By the way, this is all going to be based around the 7.1 version of Squarespace. So if you're looking for help with Squarespace 7.0, you can watch my complete guide to the 7.0 site styles editor here. And I'll also pop that in the description below too. So for the best Squarespace tips and site building best practices, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single Thursday. Okie doke, so I'm back at my mood board we created in part one of this series where we were setting our site font styles. Now I'm going to be using this same mood board to set my site color themes. Let's head back under our design panel to our site styles editor and select color to start. When you're designing a site, you wanna break up your content into easy to adjustable sections so your visitors don't see wall to wall text and get overwhelmed and bail. The easiest way to indicate the start of a new section and to draw the eye to the place you want your visitor to see next is to use contrasting color sections or backgrounds. So you might have one section with a light or white background followed by a section with a dark or contrasting colored background. And since the text or button color you choose for your light background probably won't stand out too well on the dark one, Squarespace 7.1 allows you to set multiple section themes to give the greater control over your design. You set those section themes here in the site style settings. Then when you go to actually build your site and you want a section to look different, you just use the on-page style icon to select from your list of color themes you've already set. We'll start by creating two simple color section themes, one with a white or light background and a contrasting section theme with a colored or dark background. I've duplicated my previous mood board sections so that I can preview both color themes I'm creating on the same page. To be able to see the changes in real time, make sure to go into your section settings by clicking the style icon, selecting the theme you'll be styling. So for our example, I'll be choosing a light color theme and a dark color theme. You can tell which color theme has been applied to a section over here on the left. Now if you already know your exact color palette and which color you plan to use for every last detail of your site, just open up your light or dark theme, select the element you want to change from the list of settings, and paste those color codes into that element's color picker window. If you don't know the exact color code, you can also play with the sliders until you find just the right shade. Now, do the same for your paragraph fonts, links, buttons, and backgrounds for your light color theme or theme number one. Once you're happy with how that looks, do the same for your dark theme or theme number two. You can create up to 10 individual themes. So for every new theme you wanna create, just duplicate your mood board section, assign the theme you plan to style, and then get to tweaking its colors in the design panel. Something to note when you go to build out the content on the page is that your header and footer actually act like sections too. So you can tell Squarespace which color theme to apply. If you want your header to seamlessly blend in with the section closest to it, just select transparent, and it will automatically inherit whatever the theme and background that top section has, including a background image. Okay, so you'll notice there are a ton of other options inside your section themes beyond just customizing what's on your mood board page. Chances are you won't end up using all the elements on your site, so you really only need to customize those you're currently using. If later you go to add in a new type of content that you haven't used before, like an announcement bar or blog, you'll know that those colors get updated here inside each color theme in your site style editor. But what if you need some handholding when it comes to picking your colors? Squarespace 7.1 makes it super easy to get started. Rather than picking your colors one by one for each element, you can use Squarespace's handy color palette generator. When you use this feature to pick an overall color palette, Squarespace will instantly create you 10 different themes, use design best practices to automatically apply your colors to all those millions of little settings as it sees fit. But don't worry, you still have the option to go back into each section and make tweaks to specific details as needed. So there are three ways to set your colors within the palette editor. Method number one, use a designer palette. If you have zero idea of where to start and don't have any prior branding to go off of, these pre-built palettes from Squarespace's pro designers can be super handy. So just click on one and watch as your site updates in real time. Method number two is to use the image color picker. Do you have a photo you love that speaks to your overall brand vibe? Drag and drop it here and Squarespace will pull together a palette from colors it finds in your image. Method number three, choose your main accent color. 
Just open the From Color option and use the sliders. Pick one color you'd like to use as your main accent color. Squarespace will then suggest several color palette options to choose from. By the way, with any of these three methods, you have the option to further customize your overall palette color choices by opening the dropdown and clicking Custom Colors under Advanced. Click the color you want to tweak using the sliders to input your brand specific color codes to zero in on just the right color. Okay, so there's one last thing that we need to touch on in our style editor series, and that is button styles. We've already changed the font of our buttons in video number one, and the color of our buttons were set earlier in this video, but if you wanna play with the shape or style of your buttons, here's how you do it. Head back into the site styles editor in your design panel and click buttons. These settings will apply site-wide regardless of color theme because Squarespace knows it's probably the best to keep your buttons all looking similar for brand consistency, even if you do plan to change the color or size here and there. So the options you have for customizing your buttons are to choose from solid buttons or outlines, square, rounded, or pill-shaped, and padding or how much space you want between the edge of the button and the button's text. Okie doke, so that is how we set all of our color themes using the Site Styles Editor in 7.1. I would love to know, did you work with a custom brand designer to come up with your colors or are you DIY in your color palette on your website design yourself? I'm always excited to hear why people chose the colors they did for their site and brand, so please do share in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget, it takes more than just pretty fonts and colors to build a site that actually sells. So if you're ready to learn the site building best practices that you need in order to convert visitors into actual paying clients and customers, then be sure to check out my free training, Build a Site That Sells 101. You can head to the link in the description below to get instant access to that free training. Want more tips and tricks for customizing your Squarespace site? Here's a few videos that you'll wanna check out next. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.